Yo, what's going on, everybody? Dan on Filter checking out Whitechapel. It has been a while since we heard some Whitechapel. This is without you, without us. I think that's the name of it. That's what it looks like. YouTube kind of makes it weird. Without you, without us, whatever. Holy shit, it's been a while. What have I heard from Whitechapel? Uh, Orphan. Orphan is not anything I ever would have expected the sound of Whitechapel to sound like. Love that song. It's on the playlist. By the way, just had to put that out there. If I didn't before, Orphan, fantastic song. All clean vocals? What? I never thought, I never would have ever expected Whitechapel to have any clean vocals, let alone like an actual song that's basically nothing but. Uh, but their best song? I really like Orphan. Uh, that I've heard is When a Demon Defiles a Witch. Ooh. I think that was the first song I ever heard from them, too. And the thing is about them, that's kind of crazy, is they're clearly like a death metal slash deathcore, black metal, whatever you want to call it, band. You can tell by the harsh vocalist, the style of it. When, it, when a vocalist has that deathcore, that death metal styled harsh vocal, you could almost put good money on that they're, they're not going to have any cleans. Because that it just usually that just never happens. If you have a singer that sounds like that version of harsh, of harsh vocal, they just won't. They won't have any claims. It's just not their their style they're going for. It blew me away when, like, the, I think it was the bridge portion of "When a Demon Defiles a Witch." Cleans, beautiful, pristine, clean vocals. That's when I. That's when I'm like, holy shit. Whitechapel is actually a problem. They're a problem. So let's go. This is without you, without us. This comes from Christy. If you guys have any requests, hit me up. Thank you as always, Christy. Whitechapel. I'm excited. I'm excited, man. It's one of those bands I legitimately forgot about. It's been a while. Because I'm not usually big on, like, death metal like that. But the way you do it mixed with cleans, fire. I don't trust it. Something's gonna explode. Maybe not. Holy shit. directs their videos does a phenomenal job at actually invoking a little bit of like fear a little bit like it never comes off corny or cheesy looking like a lot of like no offense music videos metal bands will try to look scary and can look a little corny theirs is like they got a budget or whoever their director is is just pretty skilled blood soaked symphony a legitimately a chilling video if you haven't seen that check that out that that's fucking that's creepy.
Yo, I gotta learn this man's name. I gotta learn his name. Because I need to reference him more often. Because a lot of times I'll talk about in different songs, different videos. Who's the, which metal singer has like the most range? This man's got to be in the conversation. He has got to be in the conversation. With the guy, like the guy from Bad Omens. Of course, Will Ramos. But the thing is with Will Ramos, at least so far from what I've heard in Lauren Ashore, there's, he never uses the range there. Like he never uses his clean vocals in it. Ever. Not that, at least again, I only heard a couple of their songs, but all hard, harsh vocals. This man needs to be in that discussion. I gotta figure out his fucking name because this is crazy. What's he doing? I need more Whitechapel in my life. I just do. They're an example of one of the bands I've, that almost pisses me off that I made one of these channels just because I'll hear, I'll hear something like this. And before I had any of these channels, if I heard something, if I stumbled upon a song like this, I would immediately go through their catalog and just binge album after album. But here, I, I can't. I gotta like, you know, gotta record it and wait. They're good, man. They might be my favorite, my personal favorite death metal band. I think they are. I gotta think, but I think they are. I'm not big on death metal in general. Facts. That was awesome. He had a legitimate argument with this with himself. Good writing. It, it actually it was writing and counter writing. Weird. Smoked him. He's not gone, is he?
don't know what that was that just blew by, but whatever it was, hold your breath. I don't... <laughs> don't think you want to breathe any of that in. That whole video was fucking sweet. They're up there. For, for music videos, they're up there. Again, Blood Soaked Symphony is legitimately like bone chilling. That video, that's one that's like, if, you, if you're in a house alone and it's dark and you're just trying to play some music, that's when it'll catch you off guard. <laughs> Especially if you've been drinking or something, it'll catch you off guard. Like, whoa, I was not ready to go down this path right now. <laughs> but that was a, that might be my favorite song they do so far. Again. I think it's only like the sixth. I think six. Maybe seven. It's either six or seven songs I've heard from them. So it's not you know, a grain of salt. But that might be my favorite one. Because like Orphan is great, but it's it's basically all clean vocals. Uh Blood Soak Symphony. Really good, but all harsh vocals. Uh Defiled Witch Demon. That one is all harsh except for the bridge. This one is a perfect combination of both. And really good writing. Really good writing. Because in the end, I think this is... If we just strip all the stuff away, in the end, I think this is a breakup song? Technically? I think. Unless he's legitimately talking to the demon in himself. Which he also could be. First listen, so I didn't get to break down the lyrics as much as I probably will. But it's either a breakup song where he's kind of talking about, you know, the the woman without us, who's no family, blah blah blah, a little part of you inside of me, blah blah. This isn't, you know, your hell with a mask with a with a beautiful mask. So that's what I think it is. But he could be talking about the demon in himself, possibly. But whatever. To me, it's a fucking breakup song, and it was awesome. But let's let's fucking go, Whitechapel. And I think if my memory serves correctly, weren't they from Tennessee? What? How random is that? That's like... Whoa, look at the range of Tennessee then. You know, you got the king. You got Elvis. You got 3-6 Mafia. And you got Whitechapel. You're not going to get any state with that type of <laughs> level of range. That's crazy. But let's go. I need more Whitechapel, man. Someone get, someone send me some more fucking Whitechapel. Hit me up. Hit me up. I'm, I'm really digging them right now. Like, stuff like this song is good enough that it can rival some of the, like, the hottest bands on the channel right now. Whitechapel might be in that conversation. They're really good. I really dig them. Hit like, subscribe. If you are still here, you are a real one. I think the biggest thing with White Chapel is just how surprising the clean vocals are. Because the name White Chapel, you kind of know, oh yeah, I thought I knew their sound. Basically what they sound like with the harsh vocals, I expected pure death metal all the way through on all of their songs. I never would have expected beautiful cleans. Let's go.